Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where we want to take a look at how we can create a realistic and physically accurate colored glass material for, for example, a vase inside of Blender with the Octane Render Engine. You will see two pictures on the screen right now. On the right hand side, the traditional way in a sense with applying the color through the transmission of the glass material. And on the left hand side, in contrast, you will see the technique that we want to use today to apply color to a glass material. And in my opinion, the left one looks much more physically accurate and much more realistic compared to the right one. I stumbled up on this technique that we want to use today inside of a tutorial for Cinema 4D and Octane. And I will link the original tutorial in the upper right hand corner right now and inside of the video description. Thanks a lot for this technique. I think it is great. And so we can start creating our realistic colored glass for this lovely vase that we have in our scene right here. Okay, so as you can see on the left hand side in the 3D viewport, I've stripped the vase of our glass material completely in order for us to start all over again. So to start creating our material, make sure that the object that we want to apply the material to is selected. In my case, this vase, I can see that it is selected by the orange text up here. And then we have to go into the shader editor as always. So click up here, go into the shader editor and make sure that it is set to object. Up here, we can now click on new and this will automatically create a universal material for us. We don't need that. So select the universal material by clicking on it and press delete. Now we have to add in a specular material. We do that by pressing shift A and searching for a specular material. Here it is, specular material. We can take the material out of the specular material node and we can plug it into the surface connector of our material output node. In here, we have to change a few things. We make sure that the roughness is set to zero, that the index of perfection is set to 1.5, and then that down here, fake shadows is checked. Perfect. As you can see in the 3D viewport, we already get a nice looking glass material, but there is no color there. And instead of changing the color by um, putting a value inside of this transmission up here, we will do that by going through a scattering node. So we have to press Shift A again and we search for a scattering node. Here it is. And we can take the medium out of the scattering node and we can plug it into the medium connector of our specular material. Perfect. Inside of our scattering node, we have to change a few things in a second because our rendered view shows us that the material has turned completely black Add color to our base, we need an RGB color node. We will add it in by pressing Shift A again and searching for an RGB color node. Here it is. And we can take the texture out of the RGB color and we can plug it into the absorption of our scattering node. Make sure to put it into the green connector and not the translucent one up here. Now we can change the color inside the RGB color node. In my case, I've already selected a color. So if I go into the hex tab up here, I can put in my hex code 16D2F9. And this is the color that I want, light blue, for my base. As you can see inside of the 3D viewport, the base in the rendered view is much darker in the color tone that the one that I put into our scattering node. And this is because of our density. So if I set the density down to seven, then you can see that the color is getting much lighter. Of course, you can change the RGB color to whatever color you need for your vase or whatever project. And of course, you can change the density to um, an amount that fits your project as well. In my case, these two values are um, exactly what I want. If you put the density higher, for example, to 100, as it was before, the color will get darker. And if you set it to one, so lower, then the color will get lighter and um, more light is passing through. 
Okay. Um, back to seven inside of the density. Um, as you can see in the upper rim of our base up here, there are parts where the color is much darker and then the color is much lighter again. And this is a transition that looks pretty yeah, unrealistic and not really smooth. And we can change that by adding in another node. We will press Shift A again and we will search for float to grayscale node. Down here it is. And we can take the texture out of the float to grayscale node and we can put it into the green scattering connector down here at our scattering node. Inside of this flow to grayscale node, we can now change the value. If I put this value at a higher number, we can see that the color is getting much lighter. For example, if I put it to 1 or 0 0.6, the color in the rim that before was pretty dark is getting back to a light blue. This is exactly what we want. In my case, I will set this to 0 0.5 maybe. We can, of course, always go lower. But as uh, you go lower, the rim will appear again. Maybe something like 0 0.01. or 0 0.1. This looks actually quite nice. The rim is there and we can see that there is thicker glass there or the light has to go through more glass. And this is why the color is getting darker up there. And in the parts where there is uh, less um, glass, the light has to travel through, the color is getting lighter. And this is giving this uh, base this realistic look. And like that, we already are basically finished with this uh, glass material. I think this is a pretty neat uh, way of adding color to a glass material and it looks quite realistic. Of course, you can now add um, surface and perfections and all that stuff uh, through the roughness and so on to get a much more realistic look. But I think um, for today, this looks perfectly fine and I'm pretty happy with the material. If you set the value inside of the flow to grayscale node, to something even higher to, for example, four or five, you can see that the material is going more into a ceramic look. So if you look for a ceramic shader, um, this could also be a way of achieving that look. Okay, so back to 0 0.1 and our glass base. I'm really happy with this uh, glass material. If you are as well, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos about Blender with the Octane Render Engine and I would be happy to see you again in one of my other videos. Have fun with this uh, glass shader um, for your vases and everything else and I see you next time.